For an external axial load P of 13 kips and a hole diameter of a half inch, what is the maximum stress in the plate and would removing the hole change it? This is the first example for the stress concentration factors main video. The links to that main video and other examples, including factors of safety, are in the description below. The two candidate locations for where the maximum stress occurs are at the two stress concentrations, the hole and the fillets. In both cases, the maximum stress will be equal to K times the axial stress P over A. The area at the hole will be equal to the thickness of the plate times its height subtracting the hole diameter. The area at the fillet will be the thickness of the plate times the smaller width. In both cases, the axial load would be equal to 13 kips, and to find the stress concentration factors, we will use the stress concentration factors charts and some of the dimensions of the plate. The diameter of the hole over the larger width gives us an x-axis value of 0.106 repeating. The corresponding stress concentration factor K would be slightly below 2.7. For the fillet, the fillet radius over the smaller width would give us an x-axis value of 0.12 and the ratio of the widths would yield 1.5. The corresponding stress concentration factor value would therefore be 2.1. With this information, we can evaluate the stress at the hole and the stress at the fillet. The maximum stress would therefore be 17.47 KSI happening at the fillet, which means that getting rid of the hole would not change the value of the maximum stress. For more examples on stress concentration factors, as well as the links to other Mechanics of Materials lectures, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.